in a street to see about five churches. I feel like we Africans were very religious. Ghana had a lot of churches, about 10,000 churches in Ghana. Light soup and fufu. Hey, Charlie, that is. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, please hit on that subscribe button and become a chop life gang. And for my returning viewers, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be talking about things you don't know about Ghana, things you might not have heard about Ghana. If you know this is the kind of video you want to see, be sure to stick around until the end of it. My Ghanaians will say Akwaaba. And what does Akwaaba means? Welcome. So when you get to Ghana, that's a feeling you get. You get the feeling of you being welcome. You get the whole welcoming vibe. Ghanaians are very welcome. So when you get to Ghana, the first thing you see through the Kotoka International Airport, you see the Akwaba up there. That is welcome. So Ghanaians are very welcoming. They are very lovely. They are very happy. So when you get to Ghana, this is the kind of vibe you get. You get the whole welcoming vibe. Akwaba means welcome in Ghana. The next thing you don't know about Ghana and I'll be telling you right here in this video is that Ghanaians name their children after the days of the week. Really? Are you surprised? Yes. When I found out that Ghanaians named their children according to the days of the week, I myself was surprised. Like we Nigerians, we name our, our children according to the days of the week, but I think we only name after Mondays, Sunday, and Fridays. Like there are some people in Nigeria that when you ask them what their name is, they tell their name is Monday. <laughs> It's funny, but people bear the name Monday in Nigeria. People bear the name Friday in Nigeria. But in Ghana, when you give it to a child on the Monday or on the Tuesday or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they have names specifically for those people. Like the Akans, the Aways, and the Ga mostly name their children according to the days of the week. When you give birth to a child on a Monday and he's a male child, they call the child Kojo. Kojo is a male band in Ghana. Male Monday born in Ghana is called Kojo. And for the female Monday born, it's called Adwa. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but yeah, I'm going to try my best to pronounce it. So when you give birth to a female child on a Monday in Ghana, they call the child Adwa. For the Sunday male born in Ghana, they call the Sunday male born Akwasi. Akwasi. I've heard that name several times. I even know somebody that bears the name Akwasi. So he was born on a Sunday. I'm going to ask him to be sure. And for the females, we call them Akoswa. So when you are a female born and you are born on a Sunday, they are called Akoswa. So this is very, very, very funny. And it is sweet. I love the culture. I love how they imbibe the idea of naming their children after a particular day of the week that they were born. Ghanaians speak or they have about 80 language or maybe above 80 language usually i used to think it was just a tree so when somebody asked me oh what language does Ghanaian speak i just say tree so i never knew they had several languages in ghana i was thinking it was just a tree once i got to know that ghana has over 80 languages spoken widely aside from the tree i know you don't know this the next thing i'm here to tell you about ghana that you do not know is Elementary and middle school has been free since 1995. If there's like a free education, there are not see a reason why a lot of people will be uneducated in a country. So if elementary and middle school is free in Ghana, especially for public schools, then you have every right to be educated because the only thing you have to pay for, maybe the parents have to look for is um, money for uniforms and maybe notebooks and the rest. But education is free, which is very, very good. Finding out about this, I was so excited because now I get to know why a lot of persons at least have the opportunity to go to school, even when they cannot afford it, being that middle school and elementary school is free. So the next thing you don't know about Ghana is that Ghana has a lot of churches. Well, it's not just Ghana, I won't just say Ghana, but right now we're talking about Ghana. So yes, Ghana has a lot of churches, about 10,000 churches in Ghana. I feel like we Africans, we are very religious. We are over-religious that anywhere you go to, even in Nigeria here, when you go out like this in a street, you see about five churches. 
Africans love church. I don't know who is pursuing who. I don't know who their village who is pursuing them. Africans love church. The same thing in Ghana. A lot of churches in Ghana. It's actually very alarming because when you go to like some schools or some event centers, you see that they have converted it to church because many of these churches do not really have like their official church and halls. So the next thing I'm here to tell you about is the production of cocoa in Ghana. See, Ghana produces their own chocolate too. You see these chocolates that you order, all the chocolates you buy, you'll be like, ah, these chocolates are they coming from London and they're coming from Malaysia. Ghana produce chocolate. They are the second biggest exporters of cocoa in the whole world. They, in fact, they even export cocoa to Malaysia, some different countries. And there are like about 8,000 farmers cultivating cocoa in Ghana. And up to like 70% of this cocoa are being exported. Ghana is very big on cocoa and it is very, very expensive to buy locally made cocoa. If you know what it means, that's a lot of money. You see, I know you don't know this about Ghana. Ghana produces its cocoa. Most chocolates you see in Ghana are made locally from Ghana. They even make their chocolates and export cocoa to other countries to also use. Finally, Ghanaians have some very delicious meals. When you see somebody and you ask them, oh, what do you love about Ghana? The next thing you hear is, when you want to just say something like, they are nice people. The next thing you hear somebody talk about the food. Ghanaians have some very delicious food. I really enjoy Ghanaian love so much. I also enjoy the wachi. My favorite is the wachi right now, followed by the Ghanaian jollof. There's a light soup and fufu. Hey, Charlie, that is a killer. So a lot of persons have visited Ghana when you ask them what do you really enjoy about Ghana, they'll tell you the food. So now you tell us what you find most amazing about Ghana in the comment section from all the points I've stated. I would love to hear from you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and share to your loved ones. See you in my next video.